Well, with us this morning, our good friend, Coach Gail Taub, nutrition coach and fitness trainer. Great to have you with us today. Good morning. How are you, Ronnie? Happy, happy Tuesday. It's beautiful out after that crazy uh, storm last night, so it's good to get out and get moving. It's a great uh, day to get outside. But uh, I love that you have this topic because um, words matter. And we would never think to say some of the things we say to ourselves to someone else. That's a great way to put that, actually. Um, and words absolutely matters. The phrases that you use to try and motivate yourself or encourage yourself to do something that's important to you oftentimes comes out in a very negative way. We don't even realize it half the time, but there's better ways to talk to yourself when you're trying to achieve. Um, have you ever said to yourself or out loud or to someone else, I have to go to the gym? Go to the gym. Right. I better go to the gym. Uh, what happens if you change just one word to I get to go to the gym? It changes everything. And it also reinforces that you are in the driver's seat and that no one is forcing you to go to the gym. If you want to go to the gym, then remind yourself that you want to go to the gym and that you are you you have the opportunity to do that. So I get to go to the gym is much different than I have to do it. It does change it, like, and it just flips that yeah. switch in your mind, you know, and I always like to remind myself, um, you know, especially when you're like a mile into a run and your side's starting to hurt and you're like, oh my God, I was so out of shape. Oh, and then you have to remind yourself, no, you know, there's so many people that would love to be able to run right now. That's actually a really cool uh, other way to think about how words can make a difference when you're in a situation like that and you're feeling like you can't do it, you, you can't quite finish it, you can't follow through, you can't even start, right? What happens if you change those words to, I'm going to figure it out, I've never done it, or maybe this is hard, but I can do it. And more than that, I'm going to figure it out. That leaves there's some grace and some um, space for you to continue working toward whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish instead of telling yourself that it's too hard and I can't do it. Figure it out. Because how important is it to set those milestones and those goals and then you reach them for that to serve as motivation for you to take that next step? Oh gosh, I would encourage you to think about a time when you reached a goal and how you felt about it and what happened next. So, you know, one plays off of the other. I always, um, I always say positivity breeds positivity and success and negativity breeds negativity and uh, what we imagine as failure. So the more you uh, eat well, the more you want to eat well. The more you eat poorly, the more you eat poorly. So you kind of crave what your normal is. And uh, if you can start to shift those words as you're talking to yourself um, or creating these goals, then see, what, see how it feels, pay attention, notice. Uh, it just might help drive you to remember that this is not an obligation. No one's forcing you to do it that it's your choice and there's all kinds of goodness and positivity as you take small steps forward. I try to um, remind myself, if I'm not kind to me, then I'm telling myself that, you know, you have to love yourself first and you mm -hmm. have to be nice to yourself first. And, you know, if you have kids, you don't want to feed them Twinkies, right? Because you want them to eat healthy food. So yeah. treat yourself the same way. Yeah. And with that comes just self-care. Right? You're just going to take care of yourself because you matter and you want to uphold the values of parenthood or friendship or your career or your own um, needs in your body. You, you can do it, um, but notice how much you're uh, coming down on yourself. Notice how you're talking to yourself and see if you can make those shifts. And more importantly, see how it changes something. Notice it in the moment, maybe just today. Notice, pay attention, and the first time you say, I can't, or I can't, right? It's not committal. Uh, I have to do it. 
See if you can shift it to a more positive statement, which is, I will do it. I will do this today. That's it. I'm holding myself accountable. I am working on it. It's not that I can't do it. I'm working on it. Um, and I get to do these things because they are my choice. So see what happens. It's almost in instantaneous when you notice it, actually, because it sounds so different. And uh, see if it helps you. So Coach Gail, yeah. I get to drink. <laughs> so I bought this thinking about you. Um, and it's, a, it's like this huge water bottle. And it's like 7 a.m. Good morning. Do it for yourself. Keep going. Drink more. And tons of energies. No excuses. Almost there. Yay, you did it. So it's got like little motivational notes to get you to drink your water through yeah. the entire day. And I, I ordered this just thinking about you um, and because you know what we put into our body matters. So I'm trying to do more water because I know you have some great uh, workshops coming up as well for people. Uh, can yeah. you uh, mention those again? Yes, but first I have to acknowledge they're missing one they're missing one thing on there. Where's the potty break? Run to the potty. <laughs> Every three lines, you got to run to the potty. <laughs> that is so true, right? Uh, yeah, so workshops. Um, yeah, so I try and um, create some opportunity for people who, number one, may or may not be ready to commit on a long-term basis to a process or working together with me, but are ready to try and do something on their own and need to learn a little bit. So I have three workshops going right now, um, which is limited to very, very small groups of people. One is join me at the grocery store. Let's learn together based on what you're looking to accomplish and want to improve in the grocery store. Um, we also have the opportunity to come into my kitchen and cook, learn how, if you're, if you're a basic cook and you wanna learn a little bit more, maybe learning about new recipes and how to use foods. Um, that's another one. So we make a couple of recipes together. And then the third one is more about, hey, I've always wanted to food prep, but I'm not real good at it. It seems overwhelming and it's intimidating, or maybe I'm doing it, but I think I can make it a little better. That's another one. We get into my kitchen and we not only prep the food, you get to take home five of whatever meal that is or snack for the week. So you're done and done. You get to learn, have some fun, um, and leave ready to go. Those are great because um, they're stumbling blocks for so many people. So that's part of the no excuses. Right on. <laughs> right? <laughs> right Coach on. Gail, how, how can people uh, contact you? Great. So 248-885-1400. Uh, uh, you can text or call me. Um, you can also go to my website and message me through there. Take a look around. It's coachgale.com. And uh, I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. My Instagram is Gazelle Health with two H's at the end. That's so great. I mean, you're popping up in my feed more, so oh, that's good. awesome. Good, good, so, good. Well, we so appreciate your time. Thank you for being with us. We appreciate it. Thanks, Ronnie.